Good afternoon and welcome to the Wilberforce University commencement class of 2013. remain standing. I'm going to ask everyone to get to their places as we begin our very important, solemn, and celebratory commencement. Our very solemn our very solemn and celebratory commencement. Bishop Young, would you come for the invocation? Please remain standing. Let us pray as all heads and hearts are bowed in reverence. Gracious and eternal God, the source from whence we come and to whom we return, our hearts are filled with joy and thanksgiving on this commencement day. For your grace and mercy, which has made possible our pilgrimage for Wilberforce University, we thank you. We thank you on behalf of the families of those who have matriculated and who are matriculating and those who will be the recipient of their baccalaureate and master's degrees. We thank you for the members of the faculty and student body and the administration and the board of trustees. Now pour upon these graduates, those whom we certify as eligible to go out, that they might be empowered, inspired, and led by your call in the fulfillment of that vocational commitment. Bless these ceremonies that all who are here may be inspired and may look up to you, for you are the source from which all good comes. Now forgive us of our sins and our transgressions. Clean us up from everything that would make us unacceptable in your sight. Pour upon us your gracious Holy Spirit and anoint us for first for every challenge and every task that you summoned us to embrace. We praise your name. We thank you. And we ask that you would touch all of those who witness this experience. That generations yet unborn will come this way seeking what must we do to learn grow and be better. With thanksgiving and praise, we say amen. amen. As we sing our hymn of adoration, the marshals and the ushers can allow the other members of the family to come in and there are seats here on the left, on my left, there is seating here on the left. The hymn of adoration.
For the members of the graduating classes who are to give greetings, please make your way to the, the stage. Greetings, President Hardaway, trustees, Senator Turner, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, alumni, family, friends, and especially to the class of 2013. My name is James Goodson Bates. It is an honor to stand before you on behalf of the Master of Science graduate program on our commencement day. Foremost, I would like to thank God because without him, none of this would be possible. I thank my family, and most importantly, my mother. Without her, I wouldn't be the man I am today. I love you, Mom. And special thanks to my peers, William Roberts and Randall Shakir. We entered together, endured this journey, exited together with the unbreakable uh, brotherhood. I love you, too. And Wilberforce, in my pursuit of higher education, the Wu was the only university that gave me an opportunity after high school. What a blessing. Since I enrolled, I encountered so many amazing people and learned so many amazing things and so many remarkable lessons. I believe my peers can attest, Wilberforce has humbled us all. We might not have the luxury of love the university possesses, but we have love, support, happiness in each other. That's second to none. The master's program has provided me a platform of knowledge, personal and professional growth. We are prepared to secure careers in companies of our choices and excited about future, future uh, possibilities. In closing, our quote, from the book of James, chapter 4, verse 10. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Thank you. Yeah! Good afternoon, y'all. My name is Brian Head and I'm a graduating senior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I'm the senior class president. I got a special challenge for the graduating class. It's been something that I've gone through this past year. And that is you know, perseverance. As you all know, I lost my mother January 25th. And nine months prior, I lost my grandmother. No matter what the world may throw at you guys, no matter what, whether it's unemployment, the loss of loved ones, no matter what it is, do not allow the world to knock you down and not get back up. I know there's some of y'all here who seem like I'm young and haven't gone through much, but the loss of my mom and my grandmother is one of the darkest hours I've ever experienced. I'm the oldest. Six, six kids. My mother sent four boys here, two bro three brothers, and two of our friends. Uh, and today was supposed to be a special day for my mother. This was supposed to be her Mother's Day gift. I just want you guys to. I just want you guys to understand, and I truly believe in this, no weapon formed against me shall prosper.
strong tears of sorrow, these are tears of joy. Because I worked hard to get here. And I know everybody else did too. Thank you. Yes, I 
I saw you come in. I know you're over here somewhere. Mr. Jeffrey Turner, could you stand? Ms. Hyla Williams, would you stand, please? Mr. Turner, if you could wake your way, we'd like to have you sit with our honored guests. Thank you. This is truly a great day in the life of the Wilberforce University Community of Scholars, and welcome to all of you. I'd like to quickly acknowledge our supporters, our close family friends. All of our alumni who are in the audience, would you please stand? And all of our Board of Trustees, would you stand? Our wonderful faculty and staff, would you please stand? Graduates, show them how much you love them. I would like to also acknowledge all of the members of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. I'd like to start with Dr. Dorothy Young, our Episcopal Supervisor. Why don't you welcome her to Wilberforce University. We'll hear a little bit more about her when we talk a little bit more about Bishop Young. We have connectional officers, Dr. Glover and Mrs. Glover. Would you stand, please? We have members of the Wilberforce community. Would you stand? Did I ask for members of the AME Church, clergy, and did you all stand up? No, would you please stand? And members of AME churches across this country, if you're here, would you please stand? All righty now. Let's hear for the AME church and for God and His Son Jesus Christ. Amen. University is loved by many, many people. I'm going to ask Bishop Young if he would come forward and help me in this next movement. You know, for over 20 years, the 3rd Episcopal District has made sacrifices for Wilberforce University. And those sacrifices include a gift of $100,000 every year to Wilberforce University. In addition, the 3rd Episcopal District contributes $125,000 a year to our sister institution, Payne Theological Seminary, whose president, Dr. Fitzhugh Stan, is with us. So students, graduates, faculty, staff, families, members of the community, I need you to know that the 3rd Episcopal District, which includes Ohio, West Virginia, and Western Pennsylvania. When I was growing up, it was known as the Rust Belt. And when the factories and the steel mills closed, this region was hard hit economically, but I want you to know, never once, never ever once, did the third district fail to assure that 
Wilberforce University and Payne Theological Seminary had resources. Please give them a standing <laughs> ovation. Graduates want to stand and acknowledge the gifts. Church, the corporate office of the African Methodist Episcopal denomination assures that Wilberforce University, Payne Theological Seminary, and the other educational institutions in the United States and abroad receive altogether 25%, one quarter of the corporate budget is allocated to education. Please, again, show our appreciation to our church. Now, I've asked Bishop Young to come because I want everyone to know that once again, the third Episcopal district has honored its devotion to us with a check for $100,000. We, we, are, we are blessed by the generosity and support of a large family of people who make up the Third Episcopal District, but in addition to that, persons who have been elected to the responsibility of serving as trustees who have responsibility for governance and oversight. And I want to uh, make a special uh, acknowledgement because we have some significant challenges that face the university, and all of them will require extraordinary stewardship and generosity on the part of the persons who are the beneficiaries of degrees and who have been the recipients of the largest of Wilberforce University through the years. And so I want to make this appeal and I want to acknowledge now uh, the gifts that came at our, at our spring board meeting in addition to the funds which have already been acknowledged from, uh, from Bishop and Mrs. Young, an additional $5,000, from the Reverend Dr. Granger Browning, $5,000. All of these are a part of a $10,000 pledge. Dr. Jamie Coleman Williams, constant support of $2,000. Dr. Earl Grimes Harris, $1,000. Uh, Ms. Noreen Duffy, $1,000. And the Reverend Dr. Ellis Loudon, $500. Uh, this brings a total to $114,000 uh, that we uh, Mrs. Young has our check. Now, the, 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 the reason why we do this is we want to inspire the people who are the beneficiaries of a Wilberforce education. We want to inspire the people who are marching today who will receive their baccalaureate degrees and master's degrees to know that what they have paid does not help keep the doors of Wilberforce University open. It will require us in a larger and more serious way to make Wilberforce a vital part of our ongoing stewardship and the sharing. And if there are persons here who were inspired, I'll be happy to receive your checks today. Thank you, Bishop, and those of you who are so inspired, you can simply come this way, and we will be glad to see that Bishop Young receives your check. We're laughing and smiling, but this is on all seriousness. We're cheering and we're happy, and we advocate and we support and that's well and good, and we're grateful. 
but when the rubber hits the road, it's about having resources in the bank to do the things that we do and that we're committed to do. So uh, during the course of our observance today, you're welcome to bring your check. You truly are welcome to bring your check. It is my pleasure and my honor to introduce to some of you and to simply present to the rest Senator Nina Turner. <laughs> Senator Turner is the Minority Whip in the Ohio State House. I first met her when I was giving testimony before the panel on higher education, helping them to understand why the Ohio grants to students at private universities should continue in the state of Ohio helping them to understand the value that private institutions add to the talent pool and to the intellect of the state of Ohio. Because when businesses are looking for a home, one of the things they look for is whether or not the people have the talent and the skills that the businesses need to do their work in the state of Ohio. And Senator Turner was on that panel and she made it clear that her expectation was that all parts of the higher education space in the state of Ohio would receive resources even if even if they were private institutions and many of us know often all of the resources go to the state institutions but not only that Senator Turner was holding everybody accountable. And we saw representatives from the proprietary school, can I say that? From the proprietary schools. And they came with their lobbyists and their lawyers and their owners. And they were trying to convince the panel of something that really was not. If you just listened but didn't critically think about what they said, you might think, oh yeah, that's right. Well, I just want to tell you, Senator Turner, you made me so proud because some of the other panelists were just nodding and willing to accept and were not asking searching critical questions. Senator Turner did not hesitate. And then the community college community came up and they had their presidents and their lawyers and their lobbyists. And you know, they fared a little bit better because they could show some real outcomes that were positive. But where they tried to gloss over, Senator Turner didn't let it slide. And she asked the piercing, direct, critical question. 
And then the state schools came up. And I'm not going to call them out because you know how I feel about Google Force compared to everybody else. We're the best. We are the best. In the state, in the region, in the nation, on the continent, in the hemisphere, on the earth, in the universe, Senator. Are we not? And that's because our students are the best. Well, Senator Turner was gracious. But she questioned them too. And then I stood for the independent college. Now as independent colleges, and these are all the independent colleges in the state, so not just Wilberforce, not just Wilberforce, the HBCU, but all the independent colleges. Well, we can't afford lawyers to go see the, the state house. And we don't have lobbyists on our payroll. We just come with truth and value. And the others on the panel tried to discount us, didn't they, Senator? Senator Turner, she was sitting over on the left, I remember it just in her very direct, unassuming way, began to ask the critical, searching questions. She didn't let me slide, but she knew the answers, I believe. And she wanted to make sure that her colleagues on the panel understood the importance and the value of the private colleges and universities in the state of Ohio. And Senator Turner highlighted the value that Wilberforce University brings to the higher education space in the state of Ohio. And for that, I thank you. Now, most of us who are over the age of seven can read, so I will let you read her bio. But I want to present to you Senator Nina Turner. God. 
have a testimony without a test. Because as long as we have folks who are downtrodden 
as long as we have poor folks in this nation, as long as we have folks who need a little help, That's right. those of us who the creator of this universe has blessed to earn a degree ought to be social engineers. <laughs> Mr. Head, I, I'm just going to say to you because, you know, I'm just done with the script. I'm speaking from my heart. When that young brother got, brother got up, I thought about my journey receiving some of the worst news that anybody wants to receive when I was a sophomore at Cuyahoga Community College and I got word that my mama was in the hospital. And I am the oldest of seven children and my husband and I, we were in our early 20s and I was not ready. You know, Rex, sometimes you have a defining moment in your life and I was not ready for that defining moment as my mother lay in a hospital in a coma with her eyes rolled to the back of her head and her tongue hanging out of the left side of her mouth. Graduates, I had a flashback. And I thought about the woman who carried me in her room for nine months, a mama who was not perfect, but she was mama. <laughs> Little did I know, Mr. Head Jr., this is not just for you, but it is for all the graduates because we all have a story to tell. Little did I know that at the age of 22 years old, I would have to make the decision about when to pull the plug. As the doctor told me, your mama, your 42 year old mama, is not coming back. My mama died on the system of welfare. She had no money in the bank and she did not have a life insurance. My younger sister was 12 years old, but I had conversations with the creator of this universe, and I said, if you have mercy on my soul, if you give me strength, I will become a cycle breaker, and I will break the cycle of undereducation and poverty in my family line.
class of 2013, for all that you have done and all that you will do, I want to leave you with Grandma's three bones. The wishbone, the jawbone, and the backbone. She said the wishbone will keep you hoping and praying because hope, 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 hope is the motivator, but the dream is the driver. She said the jawbone will give you courage to speak truth to power. Or in the words of Dante, the hottest places of hell are reserved for those who in times of great moral crisis choose neutrality. Class of 2013, this world needs you because we are in great moral crisis. But Grandma said, you know, all the hope and the wishing, the talking, and the praying in the world does not mean a thing unless you have the super catafragilistic XP alidocious bone. And that is the backbone. Because the backbone will keep you standing through trials and tribulations. In this thing called life, we will have trials and tribulations. But I want you to know that you serve a God that is so mighty. He said, I come that you might have life and have that life more abundantly. Yes, yes. Wilberforce class of 2013, you are a force for the future. Use grandma's three bones. Go forward and change this world and know that you have a debt yes. that you might not ever, 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 yes. ever, ever yes. be able to repay, but you ought to put a down payment on it. God bless you, class of 2013. Well before us, God bless you.
Professor Jeremy Winston. of our solemn and joyous observance today. I'm going to ask all of those who are standing at the door to please find seats. There are seats up here on my left. There are seats in the bleachers. For everyone's safety, if you could find a seat and get in place. Thank you. Our ushers and our people who are monitoring people coming in, please see that they move to, to a seat. This is a wonderful, wonderful day. Our 
get the interview for the honorary degree of Field Aid Health. You should be kidding, yeah. Graduated from law school, we had five tickets. Now, I don't know about you, but how can you only have five tickets? Here at Wilberforce, we are come one, come all. You, I've met parents from Seattle, Washington from Alabama, from right up the road, from Nigeria. I've met aunties and uncles and sisters and little ones and spouses. We can't do with five tickets. So, because we are open to all, as we move into this wonderful part of our commencement. I'm just going to ask you to follow the request of our officers and our ushers, and we need to keep the front clear. So the photos should be on, I guess, either side of the black tables over here, but we need to keep the front and the aisles clear. Are we all agreed? Because we don't want to have to go to five tickets. Amen. Graduates, I love you. Faculty and staff, thank you. Parents and family and friends, thank you. Candidates for the Master's of Science degree, 
please stand. Madam President, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the candidates for the Masters of Science for graduation. They have completed all of their degree requirements and upon the recommendation of the faculty are now eligible to receive their degrees. By the authority, this is important, by the authority vested in me by the African Methodist Episcopal Church, the Ohio Board of Regents, the Wilberforce University Board of Trustees. I hereby confer a Master of Science degree, a Master of Science degree, with all the rights and all the privileges. And I'm just going to add all the responsibilities, all the responsibilities appertaining thereto. James Thomas Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degree please stand for the hugging ceremony?
Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree please stand? completed all of their degree requirements and upon the recommendation of my colleagues on the faculty, they are eligible to receive their degrees. Candidates, by the authority vested in me, by the African Methodist Episcopal Church, the Ohio Board of Regents, the Wilberforce University Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Arts degree with all the rights, all the privileges, and all the responsibilities appertaining thereto.
Trevelia Hill.
and the pri privilege that I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. They have met all the degree requirements and upon the approval of our esteemed faculty are now eligible to receive their degrees. Just give us a minute. Shh. These are important words. I know this is a joyous time. Just give us a minute. By the authority vested in me, by the African Methodist Episcopal Church, the Ohio Board of Regents, the Wilberforce University Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degree, the Bachelor of Science degree, with all the rights, all the privileges, and all the responsibilities appertaining thereto. And now you can cheer. Thank you. 
Rochelle Day. Melba J. Diggs.
McGuire Edwards. Salida R. Macbeth. Jalisa Danielle Miller. Isis Celeste Mount.
Juanice Lachelle Terrell. Alexis J. Tyson Bradley, Super Cool Laude. Isaiah Wally. Jacqueline Washington. Please turn your tassel. You may be seated. I'm going to ask everyone to remain in place. We're almost finished, but there are a few other things that are important. Please be seated. I'm going to ask Dr. Donna Jones to come forward. We're going a little bit out of order. Dr. Jones is the president of the National Alumni Association, and she is going to welcome you. Shh. We need everyone to get in place. We're still in our observance solemn and celebratory. Dr. Donna Jones is the president of the National Alumni Association. Graduates, you are now alums. Dr. Jones will welcome you. Congratulations, my fellow Forcians. It is my pleasure to welcome you into your alumni association. I talked to you a little bit last night about walking out there, widening your scope, making sure you unify your purposes that you have today. Savor this moment. Advance yourself. Advance your finances. Wilberforce needs your support. Your Alumni Association needs your support. Always remember that from this day, you have so much to be proud of and so much to represent. We're looking at a heritage that began in 1856. Carry it proudly. I'm proud of you. So now, would all of the Wilberforce alumni please join me as we welcome our new Forcians into the fold. Stand, please. We, we, the members of the class of 2013. Do hereby swear our allegiance to the Alumni Association, whose purpose is to actively assist in promoting the programs which are beneficial to, are beneficial to and, in and in the best interest of Wilberforce University. University. We promise to bond, promise to bond with, one another, with one another and with all other alumni, all other alumni 
of this historic, wonderful institution. To be worthy sons and daughters. Furthermore, I personally and faithfully pledge to follow and uphold the Constitution and Bylaws of the Wilberforce University Alumni Association. So help me God. Four CNs forever. You may be seated. In this last movement of the commencement, I will give a charge to the graduates who are now alums. We will have our alma mater. Bishop Young will give our benediction. We've worked him hard today. There will be the recessional. We're going to ask everyone to kindly and respectfully remain in place as we go through this last movement. So the charge to the graduates who are now new alumni. You've heard a lot of words today. You've heard a lot of words over the last four or five years. Commencement is not the end. If you go back to the Latin root of the word, commence comes from the word meaning begin. So now you are beginning this newest season in your life. Today at baccalaureate, Today, at baccalaureate, Bishop Young told us to find your voice at the right time. You have all of the tools you need to find your voice at the right time. This afternoon, Senator Turner challenged us to acknowledge our debt of our forefathers, our foremothers, and to make a down payment on that debt. I would like to add, to whom much is given, to the man, to the woman, to whom much is given, I know you know the rest of it, much is required. All of these people here today who surround you with their love and their support have given you much. Our God in heaven has given you much. Wilberforce University has given you much. Therefore, much is required of you. At the beginning of the school year, as we welcome new students, I usually read from Proverbs, chapter 3. verses 13 through 18. And with all of your giving and all of your getting, I would like you to remember this. Blessed is the man or the woman who finds wisdom. The man or the woman who gains understanding, they're blessed. For wisdom is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. So you business majors know about the ROI. Wisdom will give you a better return on your investment 
than silver and gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing any of you desire can compare with wisdom. Long life is in wisdom's right hand, and wisdom's left hand holds riches and honor. Wisdom's ways are pleasant ways, and wisdom's paths are peace. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. Class of 2013, newest alumni, I welcome you to the fold of alumni. I charge you to go with wisdom, to use your voice, pay the debt, pay your debt. Go ahead. Stand for the alma mater. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 